In this video I will show you probably one of the most comprehensive way how to add Spotify music as a background music for your streams and have a lot of control over it. This exact method is only applicable for Windows, although the core principles should be similar across any operating system. This is a step-by-step -step guide, so you can just follow it with me or skip to the chapter marks if you need some specific guidance. So, first things first. We need to download a free app called Voice Meter Banana. Make sure to download Banana version, because it contains one key auxiliary component that the regular one doesn't have. If you've had the regular version installed, uninstall it before proceeding. And if you have any issues with the installation, such as not being able to install or uninstall something, make sure to open your device manager and then manually uninstall, let's say, a regular version of voice meter, both from your audio inputs and outputs and from sound controllers. And after that, reboot your computer and install voice meter banana. After you've installed the app correctly, you will be greeted with a window like this. If it didn't boot with the system, just search and launch the app and make sure to enable option run on Windows startup as well as show app on startup for a good measure and um, system tray so you can always easily monitor your audio setup because from now on voice meter will become your main sound and audio mixer for your system. If you've never used it before, it might look confusing and complicated at first, but don't worry, I'll help you to set it all up properly and explain some basics. But before we do that, we first need to do a few things in the audio and sound settings of the Windows itself. Open sounds under the speaker button in your system tray in the sounds tab. If you are into streaming, I would recommend you to select no sound option to disable all the annoying Windows update sound notifications and other distractions. Then under the recording tab, we need to find voice meter output, right click on it and make it our default device and default communication device. Make sure to do it for output, not AUX or auxiliary output, because we will need that later. Then do the same under the playback tab. Once again, pay attention to make the default device regular output, not AUX. After we've done that, we right click on the sound icon again, but this time select open sound settings. If you've done everything correctly in the previous steps, you will notice that your input and output devices are now voice meter banana. What it means is that all the sounds from your system, as well as the inputs such as your microphone, will go through voice meter app, where we will be able to control it and route it in the way we want. So let's scroll down to advanced sound options and click on app volume and device preferences. In this section, you will see all the apps that have access to your sound. And you might notice that I have Spotify there. If you don't have it there, first of all, we'll be sure to download the desktop app and use that instead of just like a browser, as it would be easier for us to set it up. But second, if it's still not there, just play something in Spotify, and then it will show up. Once you see the Spotify app in this section, select the Spotify sound to come to Voice Meter Auxiliary Channel. By default, in OBS, all your sounds, Spotify included, will come simply from desktop channel. But we want to isolate Spotify and send its sounds to another channel so we can have control over it. Adjust its volume separately from other sounds or mute the music for us or for the stream, etc. So after we've sent Spotify audio to voice meter aux input, auxiliary input, we need to go to OBS settings, audio, and then add another mic slash auxiliary audio channel. This time voice meter aux output which we can rename to Spotify just for clarity. And the last step in this process is to set up voice meter auxiliary channel exactly as we want. What you need to know and understand here is that A1, let's call it a channel, is basically the way for you to monitor and listen in your headphones the sounds that are coming from your system. And B1 and B2 are the output channels, default and auxiliary one respectively. If you have a mic slash audio interface connected, you want to send your mic to B1 or default output. That way it will appear in OBS without any issues and you can toggle A1 monitoring on that channel to quickly make sure that your mic is working because you will be able to hear yourself if you do that. All the sounds from music, gaming, everything from your computer will come through virtual inputs named here voice meter via, via or whatever, which is just your regular VM input that we've previously assigned to be the default channel for all our sounds and music. So by enabling A1 monitoring on this VM channel, you will hear everything that comes from your programs on your computer. But you might notice that there is also another channel called voice meter aux auxiliary. And this is where the magic happens. Because we've sent the audio from Spotify to this auxiliary channel, 
the music coming from Spotify app will now appear in this channel, meaning now we can control it separately from other sounds. By clicking A1 and enabling monitoring on this auxiliary channel, you will be able to hear Spotify music. And by enabling B2 output, you will be basically sending those sounds of this auxiliary input channel to auxiliary output. And because previously we've added another microphone slash aux channel in OBS, now we will have in OBS Spotify music in a separate channel with its own controls. All you need to do after that is basically adjust the volume to the level you want and that's it. Now you have Spotify music in OBS separately from all other desktop or gaming sounds. You can adjust its volume even kind of semi-independently for you and for your stream. You can toggle it on or off for your viewers or for yourself and overall you get way better control over the way how the sounds in your system are rooted. Because when you're playing some competitive games like let's say Counter-Strike, you actually don't want music blasting into your headphones because you want to hear in-game sounds because of how important they are. So if you set up everything this way, you can actually turn off music for yourself, but still play it for your audience. By the way, this concept isn't exclusive to Spotify, of course. If you'd want to isolate something like Discord so that only you can hear it and not people on your stream, you can actually do the same and just route Discord sounds to auxiliary channel that you can basically hide from your viewers. Once you understand this concept and set it up properly, the sky is the limit. And yes, in this version of voice meter, we only have basically two channels that we can work with. So if you need even more control and more channels, you'd have to search for other solutions from what I could gather, most of which are paid ones. But the concept will most likely be very similar to the one in this video. Also, if you want to display the song names on your screen, you can simply capture the Spotify window, find the track with a longer name and crop it accordingly so it fits. If you simply drag the corner of that captured window, it will resize it. And if you want to trim that window just to the size of the area with the track and artist name, simply hold Alt button when you're trying to resize it and it will activate trimming or cropping option. By the way, sometimes you might hear some like crackling weird sounds as if you're like headphones dying or something. This is some bug or issue with voice meter. And to fix that, all you need is to open voice meter menu and select restart audio engine. And any weird noises will disappear and it takes just like one second. By the way, make sure that you don't have a microphone disabled in Windows settings. That could be a rookie mistake, but I just wanted to mention this because I know a person who didn't use the microphone in her brand new like Razer laptop for like six months because she thought it was probably broken. Yeah, the problem was that she just turned it off in the settings, I guess for privacy reasons or whatever, and had forgotten about it. And then obviously the system was basically blocking applications to access to the mic, hence rendering it basically useless. So I thought I'd mention it here just in case any of you will have a similar problem. And just one last thing, you can actually use my music in your streams without worrying about DMCA or copyright strikes. It's the one you've seen on the screen this whole time, Atoms of Stardust, on all the major platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, etc. The links will be in the description section. Right now, my catalog of songs is a bit small, but I'm working on making and releasing more music. So over time, that list will grow for sure. And I would definitely appreciate it if you listen to my music and use it in your streams. Okay, I hope it was a helpful video. Subscribe for more. Happy streaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.